knew I was going to win it. I came here, I knew because I put the training in and it was that was the goal. First day was probably the toughest. Yesterday it was just boggy, slipping all over the shop. I play around in North, North Wales a lot, Snowdonia. In some ways it's quite comparable with the size of the mountains, but here it's a bit more widespread, a lot more boggy as well. See, I've had a a couple of tumbles today as well and it's uh, easily done but yeah for this time of year it's, it's a savage course it's just sapping because you are slipping all over the place. Noidart wood. My first ever ultra was on day one, my second ultra was yesterday <laughs> and my first multi-day event was this one. <laughs> Weather's been incredible, no midges, first time I've done a multi-day camaraderie is pretty good. I think a lot of it's mental and well to be honest I just followed Alex around the whole way so it yeah. feels, feels amazing to be second. Very very challenging um, preparation wise I think I came into it uh, prepared okay yeah <laughs> thank you very Incredible much. Work. Yeah cheers. Absolutely nothing <laughs> I've ever done could compare to that. I never, it's not one word I use really, but I would say gnarly is a great word to choose. You've got your trails, you've got your hills, lovely weight bogs to run in, really amazing. And I've not got a medal like this before, so this is lovely. Hello, well done! And it's about 75 kilometres further than anything I've run, so a little bit much. <laughs> Trails are certainly a challenge, but there are times where you can give it a really good blast. And anybody who's just, you know, looking to challenge themselves and want an adventure, I couldn't highly recommend it enough. Organisers, the medics, the people at the checkpoints, all the competitors, whether you're one of the first or last, everybody cheers you home. It's just a great experience. We uh, came over from Indiana, hadn't really done anything like this ever before and just trying to do something new and definitely wasn't prepared like I thought I was for it. The challenge of it was uh, extremely uh, difficult for myself. Again, seeing how you can push your body to limits that you're, you're not sure that you can do is always kind of a neat thing too and sort of discovering inside yourself what you can do and, and how you can continually push yourself to, to keep going. Probably one of the hardest things I've ever done but the scenery was spectacular. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it when I woke up on day two it was horrendous but I carried on and I'm so glad I've done it and Beyond the Ultimate have been amazing for like helping me get through that and just right from the start from when I contacted them to to the end um, I felt really welcome and looked after as well which has been brilliant. For my first ever multi-stage event it was like absolutely amazing and I think with the weather it's okay because I live in Scotland so I know what the weather is like so it didn't bother me that much however I think the terrain some parts are very technical and with the wind it didn't really help but otherwise I thoroughly enjoyed 85% people say that you know ultras are unforgettable well this one definitely is uh, you know just the landscape that we've run through is just like nothing I've been in before. Uh, these are some big, big mountains and so they take some getting up uh, and actually take some getting down as well. <laughs> Given the challenges that there are to put on any kind of event in a place like this so remote, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing how much has been done. 